tonight is uh, May the 1st, 2024. You can see the time, uh, 9.35 uh, p.m. Uh, I want y'all to take a close look at this security camera. Uh, it's, it's sad uh, what you're going to see. And this is not something that, this is something that happens kind of regularly. You know, from those projects on Warren Street that they open up, you know, they need to get security. They need to get the the uh, the police department need to get uh, some cameras out there. And then the Charleston, Missouri Housing Authority need to get some security in the uh, Charleston, Missouri Housing Authority projects. And uh, the police need to get a substation back over here. And then this house that the sub police station is at uh, most of all of this chaos be right in front of this house. When you see what this guy running at before they get to fighting, you will see where he going to right to this house. Ever since these people been living there and I don't care who don't like what I'm saying. I'm not prejudiced, but since this white woman moved here is several times it's been fights in this yard, chaos. 20 and 30 people. You can see them running in and out of the house. But look at this here. Young kids fighting. And then somebody starts shooting. Here on uh, Vine Street in War Housing. You see where they're coming from right now. Some of them coming from the projects over there on Warren Street. Which is no longer the Charleston, Missouri Housing Authority. And uh, the other ones... You can see where they're going towards the Charleston, Missouri housing authorities. Now, just watch this here real close, y'all. This ain't the first time something like this here happened. And most times when them crowds is at, when they shooting these fireworks at each other, when they when they fighting right here. You see what you see where the guy's going? You see where this? You see the house that he's going by? Why would he go over here? This is this is not the first time. This is sad, y'all. We know we know Lester Gillespie, Rodney Jones, and all these so-called preachers as leaders. They say they come out when stuff like this here happened. Look at the guy there to the left. He drunk from, from fighting. You see what I'm saying? It's sad. Now, you're going to see them running in a minute, and you see the direction that they running. That means the shooting is coming from uh, uh, down from Warhound. You see this? Now, I give it to the Charleston Police, not, not Robert Hearns, but I give it to the Charleston Police Department. It didn't take them long uh, to come. But the fact of the matter is, teenagers is out here fighting and somebody's shooting. You see what I'm saying? Uh, it, it, it's sad to say, but it, it, the parents, these parents, when you find out who the kids is that's shooting, the parents need to be put out of the projects. If y'all don't want to put them out of the projects, move them on the other side of town. You see what I'm saying? Move them over there by Robert Hearns. Move them by anybody that's running the Charles Missouri Housing Authority. Move, matter of fact, all of these ones that continue to do this type of stuff, move them in a certain sex of, of projects. Put a big fence up. If they want to shoot and kill each other, let them do it. But what if one of these bullets hit a, a, the wrong person? You see what I'm saying? When they started making guns, they didn't stop. But people is tired of this here. I'm going to leave like I came. But y'all pay just close attention. The police did come. You can't blame the police for this here. Now, I blame the, the Charleston, Missouri Police Department. For, if they don't have cameras, they should be able to get all of this. You see what I'm saying? They need to monitor this house right across the street. It used to be the sub's police station. Chaos. All the time. Chaos. And if you don't like what I'm saying, talk about me. But if you come over to my house, you're going to make a bad mistake. Just look how dark it is down up in here. This is where some of the people come from these projects over here on Warren and if the shoe fit wet it ain't everybody but you see how dark it is with the exception of the 
the lights there. Uh, you got one at this stop sign, but when you turn this corner, when you turn this corner off of Warren, the projects on Warren is not connected with the projects in, uh, for the Charleston, but this corner right here is real dark. And every time you see all that mess over here, by this old police substation that they closed down, you, you will see the mess, you see crowds be over here all the time, up and down in this in, in this area here. People that don't live over here, don't live on, on, our, on our street. But this was where they do all they shooting and then run into the projects here in Charleston, Missouri, and then run into the ones on Warren Street. Get cameras. Y'all 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 charge these people all this money uh you know living in these projects and these so-called affordable houses then uh put cameras up. You see what I'm saying? You got you got the police. I ain't got nothing against y'all. I mean, you know those you doing your job, but the police can take their cars home. Some of them live in Bertrand. They take their cars home with them. You see what I'm saying? We don't have no police live on this side of town. We don't have no sheriff deputies live on this side of town. We need to get something done. 